Hi guys! Today I am reviewing a new powder from Maybelline. It says Dream Wonder Powder. They always give these such, you know, fantastic names. This is just a new pressed powder from Maybelline. It opens up like this. It does come with a sponge. There's a mirror in the back and it's described as gliding on softly and smoothly, skin perfecting silky finish, and it says buildable medium coverage. I have this in number 20, Classic Ivory. I wouldn't normally wear an ivory shade, but I think these colors may run a little dark. I've had this for a while and I've been wearing it on and off, but I didn't want to do a review until I had a chance to wear this just like with concealer. So practically like just a powder foundation. So in the last couple videos, this was, you know, basically my foundation. I was wearing this with some concealer just to see, you know, how much coverage does it really have? Can it really even out the skin tone and stuff like that? And then today I'm wearing it in a way I might normally wear it, which is just on top of a foundation. The texture of this powder is really nice. It's a very soft powder. If you just swirl your finger in it, you know, you pick up a lot of product. It's kind of hard to describe textures, but um, you know, some powders just have a very hard feel and you may feel like you have to work on it a little bit to really pick up some product and get it on your face. This is a very soft powder. Just to show you, like, if I'm picking up some of this product with my brush, it gets very, like, flaky. There. If you like to use a brush with this, you end up kind of working up a lot of loose powder in the process of just dipping your brush in. So hopefully that gives you a feel for what kind of texture we're dealing with. I feel like I get a more even application with this product when I apply it with a brush as opposed to the sponge. Um, something about using the sponge, I feel like I get maybe a little too much product on and I don't feel like it always looks as even. So that's just, just my take on that. You might have a different experience with but it. We're talking about press powder. Powders, you kind of want to think, you know, what do you expect out of a pressed powder? What do you want? Um, for me, I would say I want a pressed powder to be able to mattify my skin. I don't expect it to have a lot of coverage, but I do like um, putting a pressed powder on top of a foundation and just seeing that extra bit of perfected skin. You know what I mean? Like it just gives you that little something extra that makes your skin look really nice and finished. This doesn't really claim to be a powder foundation, so I don't expect it to really be able to stand on its own, you know, and be enough coverage. And when I did use this like a powder foundation, like I said, I just kind of did some under eye concealer and then used this all over. It evened me out well enough, but having seen myself with a lot of full coverage foundations on a lot of the time, you know, I could tell the differences. I could tell, you know, just a little unevenness all around. I didn't think it was quite as perfected. But it really did mattify my skin and I did feel like it was somewhat buildable. It claims to be buildable medium coverage and I think that's a great description of what the powder does. You know, you can add a little bit more, get a little more coverage. Um, it definitely will add some coverage if you put this on top of a foundation. But I don't feel like it has has a very heavy powdery look on my skin and I've even put this on top of some areas where I know I'm dry and it doesn't look dry. It doesn't look, you know, like makeup is really apparent there on my skin. So for me, I just don't have that many complaints about this product. I think it worked well for the function I expect out of a pressed powder. You know, if I absolutely need to wear it as a quick foundation just with some concealer, it can work. But I think it gives me my best look when I just apply a little bit maybe on top of a foundation. Upon application, I feel like my skin looks really matte but not too dry. And then as I wear it throughout the day, I think it actually keeps me matte in areas where I tend to get oily, which would be my nose. Maybe one of the closest comparisons to this in the drugstore would be like the L'Oreal True Match Press Powder. This is a powder I really, really like as well. And I think maybe between the two, it might just be about finding your correct shade. Um, I think they're very similar. They both have a nice, rich texture to them. You know, I don't really have any complaints about either of them. They're a very similar texture, similar packaging to one another. Um, I'll continue using this. As you can see, this shade's a little darker. Um, this shade probably suits me best during this time of the year. Uh, it's just performed really nicely for me so far, so if you want a new line of powders to experiment with, you might check these out. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.